All right, so here's where we're at. New project day, of course. I uh, haven't updated in a while. Maybe I have, I don't know, but I haven't uploaded anything. Where we're at is I'm going to build a new clod. I picked up this parts clod, eBay, like always. Um, 20 turn motors. I'm going to end up doing a little bit of parts swapping between these three, this mod clod over here. It's got a busted knuckle. I'll be robbing the knuckles off this one and installing these that I printed from ABS. So what the plan is, is we're going to do the body in white, black polka dots. I'm going to try my hand at dyeing a couple bullhead parts trees to get the purple, purple bumpers and end links, cleaning up, stripping, repainting the chassis with PS paint, doing it in purple. End goal is to be a Watanabe clod. That's the idea. At the same time, we'll fix the mod clod, and that probably won't be on camera. But this is what we're starting with. I've already done a test wheel in pink. Uh, fluorescent pink. There, that color. I think by the time I vapor smooth these, they might come out closer to this. But no, they should come out smoother and a little bit darker. I'll be using, these came glued with the truck, with foams. So, I'll be using the regular, uh, I'll be using this set off my original uh, super clod. I'll probably swap the some of the better parts off of this one for my other trucks. You know, we'll have a couple broken trucks, they'll turn into three not broken trucks. We'll probably have to print some new body mounts because the stock clod mounts are a little bit low in the back. If this one winds up basically stock, but you know, unique, so much the better. So, then we'll have an actual normal clod with pogo shocks, a super clod with upgrades, and a mod clod that's more more moddy. Spent a little bit of time trying to mix up the right color paint for the, for the chassis, which I've done. It's a mix of uh, PS29, PS10, hot pink and purple. Made a cool little decanting nozzle as well. So I don't have to mess around with, uh, what have I seen, you know, with tape or glue or anything else like that. Just stick a straw in the thing and replace the nozzle on the, on the paint can. Anyway, I uh, spent a lot of time trying to get, figure out how to make purple bumpers because I want all the suspension parts to match the frame, which is going to be purple, right? After a whole lot of attempts, I finally looked at the back and figured out that this is a PA plastic. This little label right here. It's kind of nylon, is what it is. Which explains why this don't take paint. Um, so I went down a path of dyeing the original parts. This is a yellow part that I turned red which is kind of good to know. This is the original blue. Some cool burgundies and like a black cherry that's almost black. And finally like a midnight blue and then I finally got my purple. There's next to a blue part and then next to a, a Watanabe tree we have purple parts. So now, it looks like I'll be turning all these bullhead parts red, because I don't have a bullhead, and I don't like the yellow. Oh, yeah, I guess you see the body mounts, because the body's still clear. After I finally got the mounts sorted out, all my holes moved a reasonable amount. What did it take? It took like that many versions to get the... The body height correct. Uh, we're 
we're at 295, 300 mil with light shocks with single shocks. So probably right about the same height. Uh, this one's 300 to the roof line. Sitting on the floor, no battery. All this stuff can go away. Um, may as well show you. I only had one of these parts um, starting out. So I made, well, designed and printed these. Copy the original design. But they came out really good. That's where we're at. Time to do the strip down. Alright, so here we are this next day. The chassis off the truck. There's a nasty split here that was hiding underneath all those layers of paint. I'm going to put that to the side. Uh, I took this off my mod clod, uh, which was not built by me. It's got a few little holes that someone's drilled in it for servo leads and switches for lights, but otherwise it's intact. The mod clod axles, um, both of them, X-Max shocks, uh, what else? Aluminum axle tubes will get put onto. I don't know yet if I want to try making my own chassis, but for now, I have everything I need to get this Watanabe going. Uh, gearboxes have been cleaned, um, painted, obviously. The finish is still matte. Uh, I airbrushed on my a mix of these two colors, but the finish is still matte because, uh, well, it's PS paint, which sticks wonderfully to ABS. And now, um, tub has been cleaned. I uh, maxed masked all the holes because I don't want overspray coming through and making the inside look. Two things to add right here. It occurred to me after I started spraying this first pass of white on the bottom, I'm spraying a light color so paint wouldn't show up well over black without a backing color. But these little skirts along the bottom, like on that first pass I was like, ooh, I'm going to get paint on the inside of the shell. So that little skirt was added front and back. Just like that. The color's down. We don't have, we might actually have some overspray get in somewhere. There's not much, just like a little fog. It actually wipes away. So, let's see how the axes look up against it. And that looks perfect. For me. So, there we go. We'll let that dry and then we'll airbrush on the purple. Alright, so just a little check to see how we're doing. Little mock up. Everything still looks good. No regerts. Yeah, it's bright. So let's see how we're looking. So the paint's been decanted, and I'm using acetone as a thinner. So I get that, that watery consistency. Now there's plenty of other videos on how to decant spray paint. The only thing I did neat was make a little nozzle to make less of a mess. And I'm tempted actually very tempted to run a strip of tape just to give me a guide for a straight line. So what line am I going to use? Maybe, maybe that one. And I'll get a nice little bit of fog 
coming down. But I know my pink is going to stay bright. Just an eighth of an inch below the top of those nubs. And three eighths or so. All right, it's mostly uniform. And that's not a hard mask line. It's just there for a guide. So let's see what happens. Everything that's black is getting sprayed. So, we'll go straight on. See our mask line in there. It's pretty good. I can dig it. Fumes are getting sucked up pretty well. I noticed this paint tries to uh, come out of suspension pretty, pretty easy. Like I see blue come to the top pretty quickly. So keeping it stirred up isn't a bad idea. Alright, here we are. Last step. Some lacquer clear. Uh, number 13. And doing this should seal the surface. Well enough so we can actually clean it when it gets dirty. And it gets that uh, denim look to go away. It's gonna be pretty. And yes, I can call it my own truck pretty. Now we'll let that dry. I don't think I need a second coat of the chassis. If it looks dry later on, I'll, I'll think about it. Once these tack up, I'm gonna move them somewhere safe, strip the wheels, and probably call it a night. Let it set up for a solid little while. Uh, things left to do clean up these hubs. Merge the layer lines together, add some strength. Uh, left to do, strip the wheels, paint the wheels, clear coat the wheels, and then just reassemble everything. So, it's going good. <laughs>